Welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's try to understand one of the famous and most important JavaScript interview questions. That is, what are map, reduce, and filter in JavaScript? I have an array of numbers and an array of objects. Let us use this data to see how map, filter, and reduce methods work. Coming to map, this method is used to transform every element of an array into a new element. Now, what does that mean? For example, I want to multiply each and every item of the numbers array by 2. To do so, I can simply say numbers dot map and let us assume every item of this array is represented by the uh, variable x. Now, I will return x into 2. Let me assign this to a variable. Let me say even numbers. And console log this. And you can see that. 1 is multiplied by 2 and it became 2. 2 is multiplied by 2 which is 4. 3 is multiplied, multiplied by 2 which is 6 and so on. So every item in this numbers array is multiplied by 2 and a new array of items multiplied by 2 is returned by the map function. And since this is just a single line, you can simply say x is x into this would also get the same result, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, it's not just the simple arrays with numbers, but also the arrays with complex objects can be used, can be transformed with the help of map. For example, I have this person's array in which every item represents an individual person, which has four properties, ID, name, age, and gender. Now, I want to loop through all these objects in person's array and display a sentence. For example, A is 12 years old, B is 10 years old. So how do I do that? Let me just con comment this and now where I'll simply say this is array. Now I will loop through person's array and apply map. Every item represents a person, so let me just call it as person. And what I want to return is a sentence which says name and is age years old. So it's person dot name concatenated with a string person dot age plus years old. And let's console log this to see how the result looks like. So you can notice that every item, the object with name A is transformed into A is 12 years old because the age is 12 year and B is 10 years old, C 21, D 40. Every item in this array is transformed into a new array. And uh, one thing to note here is that it would not impact the original array. Original array would still remain the same. Map will always return a new array. So this is the transformed array and this is the original array. There is no modification to this original array. So this is how map works. Now let's move to another method which is reduce. So a reduce is used to uh, like it is used to find the accumulated values. For example, I want to find the sum of all these numbers. Then what I can do is I can simply say, uh, let me assign the value to variable sum. Now I will loop through all the elements of the array numbers. And I will apply the function reduce. So reduce will take two parameters. One is the accumulator 
and the other represents the current item in the iteration. So for example, since we are uh, trying to find the sum of all these numbers, what I can do is I can say accumulator is accumulator plus current item. And in each iteration, I would return this accumulator. So when I when it uh, comes to one, the accumulator would be added with one. And when it comes to two, accumulator would be one plus two. When it comes to three, it's one plus two plus three. And in order to do this, we need initial value to the accumulator. So we can provide that initial value here as a second parameter to reduce function. Now, let me just console log this and refresh. So 15 is the sum of all these numbers. This is how we can use reduce to find the accumulated results. It not, it's not just sum, we can find the maximum element as well. For example, uh, let us assign initial value to the accumulator as 0. And if the, and it doesn't need to be ACC every time, you can uh, name it however you want. Since we are trying to find the maximum number, I will just update the accumulator variable to max. Now, if the current item is greater than max, I will just update max with the current item. And in every iteration, I would simply return max. Now, if we look at the maximum element, at the end of the iteration, this max will have the maximum item in this array, numbers array. Uh, let us try to do the same thing with persons array. Uh, the difference is it's just numbers and here we have object. So what we can do is current represents the complete object. So here, let us try to find the maximum age among all these persons. So current will now have this complete object. So here, current dot age. If the current dot age is greater than zero, then max will be updated with current dot age. So in the first iteration, zero, 12 is greater than zero. So in the first iteration, max would be 12. In the second iteration, 10 is less than 12. So the max would still be 12. And third iteration, 21 is greater than 12. So max will be updated with 21. In the fourth iteration, 40 is greater than 21. So final max value should be 40. So let's save this and refresh. Okay. Uh, Okay, we have to update this to persons object. So now we should see 40. This is the maximum age available in all the, uh, among all the objects in persons array. So this is how reduce works. Reduce takes two parameters, which is first one is the accumulator and the second one points to the current element in the iteration. Now let's move on to another method which is filter. So as the name suggests, filter is used to filter the items in an array based on some condition. For example, in this numbers array, let us try to find the even numbers. So I will say var even equals numbers dot filter and let us assume every item is represented by x. I want to find only the even numbers. So I would simply say x mod 2 equals 0. And let me log even numbers. If we refresh. So these are the two items which are matching this condition. 1 mod 2 equals 0 would be false. So it is not returned by this. And 2 mod 2 equals 0, hence it is returned by filter. Similarly, it will reach till the end and it will return a new array of the matching items from the parent array. So if let us try to assume the same two persons, but here let us try to find only female persons. 
So here, instead of numbers, we would be using persons dot filter. And just for understanding, let me update x to person. And person dot gender, if it is equal to f, then it would be female team member or female person. So let me console log this, save it and refresh. Now we have two matching objects A and C because their gender is F. And if I update this to M, we would find the male persons. So there are two records whose gender is M, which is B and B. So this is how we use map reduce and filter methods in JavaScript and you might if you have uh, seen my react.js tutorial you might have seen me using this map method a lot so yeah this is how these three methods would work I hope you understood this concept and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to interview pro